In this video, I'll show how to enable multi-currency on Shopify store. So your customers can see exactly what your products cost in their own currency without needing to check exchange rates. Let's get started. On the Shopify dashboard, select the markets menu. Currently, I only have one market, India. And the currency for this market is the Indian rupee. So the product price is displayed in Indian rupee. To add more currencies, we need to create additional markets here. Click the Create International Market option or the Create Market button at the top right corner. In the Market Name box, I'll type the name of the market. I'll enter USA. Then I'll click the Add Condition option to include the USA market. Here I'll search for United States and I'll select United States. I'll click the Done button. You can see that the currency for this market has automatically changed to US dollar. Let's click this drop down to see what is in there. The currency is US dollar. The price rounding setting is currently set to round up to the nearest dollar. I'll change this to do not round prices. The exchange rate is set to dynamic, which means that the price will reflect the latest currency value. As shown here, a 2% conversion fee will be added to the price and paid by the customer. I'll click the done button. The USA market is now ready. I'll save the changes. Now that your international customers can shop in their own currency, make sure you also recovering lost sales. I have a full video on setting up abandoned checkout emails. The link is in the description below. Now we have two active markets. Let me quickly add two more markets to demonstrate. First, I will add Canada. Here I will search for Canada and select the country. I will click the done button. For the currency conversion, I will set the price rounding option to do not round prices. The exchange rate is set to dynamic all set. I will click the done button. I will save the changes. Also, if you want to look more professional to global customers, I have a video on creating a free custom domain email for your Shopify store. You will find the link to the video in the description below. Next, I'll add one more market. I'll add Australia. Here, I'll search for Australia and I'll select the country. For the currency exchange setting, I'll set the price rounding to do not round prices. The exchange rate is set to dynamic. I'll click the done button. I'll save the changes. Now we have four markets configured. Let's now see how the price looks on the product page. The price is shown in Indian rupees because I am currently located in India. However, you will see a currency selected drop down here. When I change it to United States, the price changes to US dollar using the latest exchange rate. The base currency of this store is Indian rupees, so all conversion are based on that. If I change it to Canada, the price displays in Canadian dollar. Now let's see how a visitor from the United States would see the price. I'll close this window. I'll open a new private window. I'll connect to a VPN to change my IP address to United States. We are connected. Now when we land on the product page, the price is automatically displayed in US dollar. The customer does not need to use the drop down to view the price in US dollar. While setting up for global sales, do not forget SEO. I also have a beginner friendly Shopify SEO checklist. That video is linked in the description. Let's test with another location. I'll close this window. I'll open a new private window. I'll set the VPN location to Australia. We are connected. I'll paste the product page URL here. As you can see, the price is now set to Australian dollar. Now let's see the checkout page. I'll click the buy it now button. We are on the checkout page and the price is showing in Australian dollar. You now have multi-currency setup in Shopify. A simple change like this can really improve the shopping experience for international customers. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. And check the description for links to related videos on abandoned checkouts, custom domain emails, and Shopify SEO. Thank you for watching.